Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to another online lecture of Islamic study. This is Shahid Ali, grade 7. The subject is Islamic study. Dear students, this is lecture number 18 from the beginning. So, in the previous lecture, dear students, I finish on the included course, all the included lessons from the Islamic study, grade 7. Today, inshallah, I will tell you, I will discuss in detail uh, one lesson, the only one lesson of Islamic culture. So that starts today's lecture. Dear students, this is a lesson taken from Islamic culture, which is included in your course. That is unit number five. Here are some points of the unit number five mentioned. And these points are great Muslim characteristics. The Imam of Grammarians, Sibari, birth in early years, changing the course of history and grammar. The master of Grammarians in the 30s, his trip to Baghdad. Dear students, this lesson is basically about one of the famous scholar of the linguistic, one of the famous scholar of the grammar. His name is Sibari. This is basically a Persian word which means the smell of an apple. The smell of an apple means Sibari, 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 this word. So he is a famous character and he is a famous personality in the literature and especially in the drama in the field of grammarians. He is one of the great imam, great masters of the grammarians. So we will read in this lesson about this great personality and his achievements. So let's start the lesson, dear students. This is lesson number one, Sibawe, Birch and Early Ears. Amr ibn Uthman ibn Qambur was born in an area called Al Baiba. He was born in a place, his name, the place, his name is Baiba, one of Shiraz village in Persia. And this is in Persia, the old name of Iran, uh, the uh, territory where Iran is situated, almost where the Persian is spoken. So there was a village, the name was Shiraz. And Sibari born in the village of Shiraz in Persia. Persia means, uh, this is Iran. Nowadays in the world name Persia, here the Persian is spoken. He was known as Sibari, Sibari, which is a Persian word. This word is from which language? This is taken from the Persian. This is a Persian word. That means the smell of an apple. Sibawe means what? The smell of an apple. He was known by this name because he himself had a nice smell. He himself had a nice skin, so why this name was given? And he was good looking too. Yeah? He, his appearance was good looking and his smell was also good. So this name was given to him. Sibawe means the smell of an apple. He was born in the middle of the second Hijri century. He did not live for long in his hometown. He was, when he was young, he moved with his family to Basra. This is another city in the Iraq, okay? Not in Iran, Basra is in Iraq. So he, when he was a child, he moved with his family to Basra, Iraq. Basra was one of the greatest center of knowledge in the Islamic world at that time. And he moved just to get knowledge, not for the worldly things. So why? That is the reason he moved with his family to, uh, from Persia to Basra to get knowledge, because Basra was great center of knowledge at that time. Its mosques used to run many classes on prophetic narrations. Prophetic narrations mean the sayings of Prophet Sallallahu in short, a hadith in Nabi Arabic language, literature, and other sciences. Literature means art of uh, uh, art 
of right a writer of the humanistic study of, of a body. This is called literature and other sciences. So Basra was the center of these things of the prophetic narration classes, the Arabic language, literature, and other sciences. And the most of Basra were running as a classes for these knowledges. So students from all over the world used to go there in order to get knowledge. In Basra, Sibawe started to attend the classes that arranged by jurists. Jurists means a public official authorized to decide questions brought before a court of justice. So these are called jurists or uh, jury. Jurists, those uh, a public official authorized to decide questions brought before a court by uh, of a justice. They're, these are called jurists. And scholars of prophetic narration. Scholars, they are the, uh, the prophetic narration, the sayings of Prophet Sallam, the Hadith and Nabawi, because he liked the study of these two subjects. Sibawe liked these two subjects. This subject, first of all, the subject of prophetic narration. And second one, the reindeer and the language. Prophetic narrations. Because he liked the study of these two subjects, he kept attending the classes of Hamad ibn Salama. Salama, who was one of the greatest scholars of his time. So, dear students, Hamad ibn Salama was greatest scholar at that time in prophetic narration. So first of all, Zibabe start learning from this personality. So it means his first teacher was in prophetic narration, Ahmad ibn Salama. Let's move dear students to another page. This is lesson, lesson, lesson number two, the changing of course of his study to grammar. In this lesson, we will read how he changed his subject uh, uh, from one to another, from the prophetic narration to the grammar. Sibawe stopped studying prophetic narrations, the hadith, because of the linguistic error. Because of the language error, he stopped their study. He made in front of his colleagues and his friend. His sheikh teacher corrected it directly. One day, Sibawe was in the class of his sheikh, and his teacher, Hamad ibn Salama, who was dictating, who was telling to his students the narration Okay, the, the text of the prophet, peace be upon him, the, the saying of the prophet, peace be upon him, in which he said, there is none of my companions in my sahaba, except that I found fault, okay, mistakes in him, except Abu Darda. Sibabe Tan who thought his sheikh, his teacher made a grammatical, uh, uh, linguistic, uh, gram grammar error the mistake in the narration, in the saying. His sheikh explained it and Sibawe realized that it was he who had not mastered Arabic grammar. So he said, I will learn a science that will make me never error in my speech. Dear student, this is the place where Sibawe did a mistake in front of his colleague and then he did a mistake in front of his teacher. When his teacher explained that point, then he realized that he is not well known about the grammar. And then he decided that he will study, that the Sibawe will study grammar, linguistic, instead, uh, instead of prophetic narration. So he changed his subject. Sibawe moved to the classes of grammarians. Grammarians means a linguist who specialize in the study of grammar and syntax and language in order to study Arabic language and grammar. In Basra, there were many excellent grammarians. The master of grammar, uh, the expert of grammar and linguists are called grammarians and linguist, linguist. Your student linguist mean related, linguistic mean related to the language. Such as Al-Akhfash Al-Akbar, Yunus ibn Habib, 
Ain Abu Zaid Al Ansari. Sibari uh, learned at the hands of Al Khalil Ibn Ahmad, who influenced him most. So, dear students, Sibari started learning grammar and linguistics from the Al Khalil Ibn Ahmad. He was his second teacher in this field, uh, in the field of learning. Let's move to another unit. This is unit number five, lesson number three, the master of grammarians in his thirties. Now here, dear student, in this lesson, we will read how the Sibari became the master of the grammarians. Al Khalil Ibn Ahmad was the master of grammarians in Basra. He was a scholar in Basra at their time in grammar. When he died in 791 AD, none of his students was able to fill the empty post or teach his classes except Sibare. Only Sibare was a student who can take the place of his teacher. Although he was only 30 years old at that time, he drew the student's attention. He take the attention, he diverted the attention of the students and taught them in the place of his chef the place of his teacher. The students who were seeking knowledge gathered around him in order to benefit from his genius, from his genius, use a mental ability, natural talent, to you to take advantage from his uh, uh, ability. They came from all over the world to meet him. Sibare became famous for his excellence in Arabic language and grammar. Both language and Qawaid grammar, he was excellent. He excelled all his equal and chefs. He went forward from uh, his colleagues and also his chef. He got too much uh, experience and too much uh, ability in the Arabic language and grammar. Scholars testified to his unique role in Arabic grammar. He became the mastermind, one of the leading personality of the Basra grammarians. Sibave is considered as the first scholar to establish the rules of Arabic language. Sibave was the first one. He was the first personality. He made rules regulation of the Arabic language. Uh, the grammar rule he maintained. He wrote a book in this field, this book which is given no name by Sibare, still takes the interest of the many researchers, though they research about the languages. Dear students, in this lesson we, we, we read that, that Sibare became one of the master of grammarian. He excelled all his equals and sheikh and he got a high position in grammar and Arabic language. And even he wrote a book and even he put some rules regulation for the first time in the Arabic language. Uh, although he did not give a name to his book, but he was famous and people were interested in, uh, in his writing and in his, uh, in his work for language and grammar. Let's move to another lesson, dear students. This is lesson number four, his trip to Baghdad. Now he, we will read in this lesson how he moved to Baghdad. Sibawe became very famous. He decided to go to Baghdad. This is the capital of the Iraq, the capital of the Abbasid Khilafat, Abbasiyah Khilafat, Abbasid Khilafat, Khilafat means Khilafat in order to meet the Caliph Harun al-Rashid, who used to support science and scholars at that time. Baghdad attracted the most genius scholar, the most able, those they have natural ability, uh, those scholars, jurists, those they are, those they are public official authorized to decide problems, to decide questions brought before a court of justice. They are jurists, make jury. And similarly, grammarians, those they are expert in the grammar and Arabic language, they are called grammarians. The Caliph Harun Rashid sponsored Al-Kisai. Sponsored mean 
to help him or to take him in his own care and give him a high esteem, high esteem and attitude of admiration. It means uh, respect. Harun Rashid trusted and respected Al Kisai, his uh, personality and uh, knowledge, to the extent that he made. Extent means uh, to the point or to the degree to which something extends. Okay, to the point uh, that he made him the private teacher and take care and caretaker of his son Al Amin. He, uh, Harun Rashid gave the post of a teacher uh, for his son to Al Qisai at that time, and he gave him a great regard and respect. In Baghdad, Sibawi met Al Qisai, and they uh, and they shared a famous grammatical discussion between these uh, both. Uh, grammatical discussion were occurred on one of the grammatical issue, al kisai was accompanied by some of his most excellent students. At that time, many excellent students were with the kisai such as Al-Fara, Al-Ibn Sadan, uh, Ibn Sadan, uh, they are the famous uh, scholars in Arabic grammar nowadays and from the, uh, uh, from the first up to now, okay, from the early days up to now, they are famous and will be, uh, remain famous. Ask Sibawe several difficult questions. They asked from Sibawe a difficult question, but uh, although Sibawe was a master of grammarian, he in turn answered them very well. Uh, Sibawe gave them very uh, well answer. After the discussion, Sibawe returned to his birthplace, Baida, when he died in 796 AD. Dear students, Sibawe, how, where he born? He born in Persia, how he moved to Basra with his family, then he started learning prophetic narration, then he did a mistake in linguistic, then he decided to change his subject, and then he moved from prophetic narration to Arabic language and grammar, and then he uh, become the student of Ahmad uh, Ibn Ahmad, uh, and then he, uh, when his teacher died, he took the place of his uh, uh, teacher and, uh, and taught to the students, and at the end he became one of the master in of the grammarians in Basra. He wrote a book but did not give a, noun, a name to the book, although he was famous and the researchers were interested in his work. Then, dear students, Sibawe went to Baghdad. He, he met uh, Harun al-Rashid. Harun al-Rashid was one of the, the pioneer and one of, one of the personality who respected the, the, the scholars. So here, uh, the Sibawe met with the Kisai, one of the teacher of the Harun al-Rashid's son, Al-Amin, and they, they had a discussion uh, uh, on a, grammar, a grammatical topic, and the students of the Kesai ask uh, Sibawe uh, different questions, uh, difficult question, but in his turn, Sibawe gave them well answer, and at the end, dear students, Sibawe returned to his home and by the way, he died in 796 AD. So dear students, this was a lesson, lesson unit number five, where the one of the great personality of the Arabic language in Arabic gra grammar is described. I told uh, all the characteristic of this master of grammarian in detail. I hope you will memorize it and you will learn it. So let's move the student to the exercise here in the exercise. Some questions are given. These are uh, 10 questions uh, and these are almost short questions. Here at the last, I gave on all answers of these questions you can find on, uh, on the screen. Where was Sibawe born? So he was born in an area called Al Bayra, once a, one of the Shiraz village in Persia. What did Sibawe do in Basra? In Basra, Sibawe started to attend the classes in arrange, that arranged by jurists and scholars of the prophetic narrations because he liked the study of these two subjects. 
Why did Sibawe stop studying prophetic narration? The answer is he stopped studying prophetic narrations because of a linguistic error, a language grammatical error he made in front of his colleague and his friends. What did Sibawe do to study Arabic language and grammar? Answer, he moved to the classes of grammarians and linguists in order to study Arabic language, Arabic language and grammar. Number five, who was Al-Khalil ibn Ahmad? So the answer is he was the master of grammarian in Basra. Dear student, he was the second teacher of uh, Sibawe also in grammar. Number six, why did the students gather around Sibawe? So the answer is the students who were seeking knowledge gathered around him in order to benefit from his genius, from his intelligence. Number seven, explain how did Sibawe became famous? So Sibawe became famous for his excellence in Arabic language and grammar. He excelled all his equals in a sheikh. Okay, dear students, the question number eight is why is Sibawe considered as the greatest scholar in Arabic language? The answer is he's considered as the greatest scholar in Arabic language because of his unique role in Arabic grammar. He wrote many books in Arabic grammar. Number nine, why did Sibawe decide to go to Baghdad? The answer is he decided to go to Baghdad in order to meet the, the caliph. Harun Rashid, who used to support science and scholars. The last question of the, uh, this exercise is, when did Sibawe die? Dear students, the answer is Sibawe returned to his birthplace, Baira, where he died in 796 AD. Dear students, these were the short question answers given in the exercise. Here you can find the answer out of them. In the exam, short question answers can come from them. Similarly, uh, MCQs of these short questions can come in the exam. So dear students, bear all these answers in your mind. Try to learn them, try to memorize, memorize them. Inshallah, dear students, this was the last uh, lecture of your Islamic study course. All lessons are finished. I told you in detail and given you all materials. Hope you learned them all. Hope you wrote them all and will try to write this one also. Inshallah, I will make another lecture uh, as a review of the all lessons. And that will be the last lesson. So this is a request, a humble request to all of you to please learn all these lectures well, listen them well, and try to memorize them well, because these all are, are, these all lectures and efforts are for your welfare, uh, so that we can boost your capability and to enhance your level in knowledge and learning. So thank you for having with me and thank you for joining all my lectures in Islamic study. If I made another lecture, so inshallah, see you in that. Up to date. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.